India's highest decision making on defense matters. The Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared two big ticket proposals. One is on buying 31 drones, MQ-9B as they are called, from the US. These unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs are made by General Atomics. The other big decision taken by the CCS, which is headed by Prime Minister Modi, is to make two nuclear attack submarines, SSNs, in India. These will be built at the Shipbuilding Centre in Vishakhapatnam, on the eastern coast of India. The project, which is expected to be about 90% indigenous, will cost about 45,000 crore rupees. It will take a few years to build these, as the yard now has adequate expertise, as well as experience in submarine construction. So what exactly are these submarines? Also called SSN or Submersible Ship Nuclear. These are nuclear-powered and are primarily used for offensive operations. They can attack enemy submarines or even surface ships and can also be used to gather intelligence. They can remain underwater for long periods of time, about 40 to 60 days as they are only restricted by constraints of crew fatigue and availability of provisions on board. These can operate at a very high speed, that is in the range of 24 to 30 knots, that is 40 to 55 kilometers per hour. They can carry conventional weapons and no ballistic missiles. Their deployment is more part of a larger tactical warfare. You can explain what SSN means to our viewers so that it's easier to then discuss uh, what they will bring to the Indian Navy. Yeah, this uh, submarines are nuclear powered submarines. Mm -hmm. The propulsion is nuclear, right. but they carry conventional missiles. Okay. And so mm -hmm. this actually gives this submarine uh, unlimited endurance, mm -hmm. uh, only limited by the machinery, mm -hmm. uh, the fatigue of the crew, mm -hmm. or rations. Ah, okay. uh, the rest part is looked after, so unlimited. And, and they are attack weapons actually. It's an offensive platform mm -hmm. which has uh, speeds mm -hmm. of much higher than a conventional uh, boat. Okay. And it can... Uh, These are diesel powered mostly. Which are diesel powered yeah. and run on batteries, batteries. underwater. Right. So therefore they need to be charged. Mm -hmm. Here there is no charging required mm -hmm. and therefore this uh, gives it that unlimited endurance and capability. Mm -hmm. And also to attack enemy fleet formations. It also prevents, it goes into, uh, covers a large area and major role of sea denial. Mm -hmm. uh, a presence so of an SSN. They are, uh, they are agile. They, they are, are much more say. agile. Much more agile. Agile, agile underwater. And silent. And, and silent. Okay. Currently, only a handful of countries have such submarines. The US, China, Russia, France and the UK. Why does India need them? The Indian Navy has been demanding them for nearly five years now. India currently has no SSN. It had leased one from Russia, Chakra. But the lease expired in 2021. There was a plan to get another one on lease, but that hasn't worked out. Mainly because Russia faces sanctions for the war in Ukraine. SSNs come in very handy in undersea warfare. India's principal adversary, China, has 60 submarines. And about a fifth of that is nuclear powered. China's newest nuclear powered attack submarine sank earlier this year. A senior US defense official said a fortnight ago. A series of satellite images from Planet Labs showed trains at the Wu Chang shipyard, where the submarines were perhaps docked. India has less than 20 submarines and just two that are nuclear powered. But there are SSBNs or submersible ship ballistic missile nuclear submarines. These are bigger in size compared to the SSNs and are used for nuclear deterrence. They carry long-range ballistic missiles, usually nuclear-armed. INS Arihant, which is India's first SSBN, was inducted into the Navy in 2016. The second one, INS Arighat, was inducted recently. Two more of these, though a bit bigger in size and tonnage, are being built in Vishakhapatnam.